base sink. Uh, there's a couple important things. One is making sure that the, the water is clean. Two is the, the proper temperature. And three, we're using the proper dilution of chemicals. So we always want to use the manufacturer's recommendations on any of the chemicals uh, when we're using this. So we're using aqua suds in the wash. It's saying use one ounce for every five gallons. And this is a 10 ounce, uh, or 10 gallon sink. So I'm gonna put two, uh, two ounces in here. So the rinse water needs to be above 120 degrees. So I'm gonna use just hot water in this sink to fill it up. So there's a light amount of suds in there. I'm just confirming the temperature with my thermometer. 121, perfect. Rinse water needs to be between 70 and 120 degrees. So again, I use mostly hot water and I can use a little bit of cold water too. But I want to fill it up. Again, this is clear. Nothing's in it. It's clean water. The temperature's especially perfect. It could be over 120. At least 70. Now for the sanitizer, we're using bleach. So again, we're going to follow the manufacturer's recommendations and uh, we're gonna adjust the sink to 200 parts per million. So for this sink, it's two caps. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to, to mix up the bleach. I'm gonna check it with a sanding strip to make sure it's at the proper dilution. Get one out. There we go. So it's towards the 100. I'm going to add a little bit more bleach. Now we're at the 200 mark. The second thing is I, I want the temperature of the water between 70 and 120 because anything over 120, the, uh, the bleach will actually start to evaporate and the concentration will go down. So we're right within that range. I want to be replacing this water uh, either every two hours or when the water becomes dirtier soil.